and Jesse here. I'm back for another LEGO Marvel Infinity Saga 2022 Zen news video for you guys. And this time, I'm going to show you guys a new set that was revealed in a couple of weeks ago for the lineup. And that is the LEGO Marvel Infinity Saga Endgame Battle Minifigure Pack. This is at 40525 8HS6 plus it has 62 pieces and 4 minifigures plus 1 brick belt character. And this set is going to cost 15 US dollars here in North America and around the world. And this set will come out on April 1st, 2022. So for me, you guys, I kind of don't know about this. Well, we do get a couple of repeated characters and I believe we're getting two new exclusive designs for the same characters that we've gotten before right here. And we do get one build in this set for these usual minifigure packs. So... This set has a brand new exclusive Korg minifigure. This is our third Korg minifigure that we have for the lineup. I love his torso and leg printing right there. And even that spiky shoulder pad right there. And that rock head and face print are the same ones from last year. And the two Thor Love and Thunder sets right here. And I love that spear blaster accessory right there. It looks really outstanding. I like how they are using the new stud shooter pieces for this year right here so I totally like that it, it looks so nice looking so it is kind of movie accurate to me in my opinion and we do get a couple of orange studs for the weapon itself right there and it looks so nice looking and pretty cool in my opinion so I totally like this version of Korg right here since I am get added to my collection right here as you can see and we do get Meek in this set right here and this time they finally made a sideboard body for him and it looks kind of interesting to me well sort of lacking in my opinion well that body outside of it is the same one from the new asgard set from last year and they use some knife pieces for the left and right arm and they use some red studs and also some two black skeleton legs for the body itself and i guess that is all right to me in my opinion well it is kind of accurate. Well, I still like it since I wanted this to happen still. And some people wanted that to happen to Well, the robot body itself. Well, it kind of looks movie accurate to me in my opinion. Well, it is what it is for Lego itself right here. And we do get three repeat characters. We do get the same version of Crappy Thor from the Endgame Battle and the Benatar set from last year. And they gave him Mjolnir right there since he used Mjolnir like a few times in the endgame battle since Cap was the one who is worthy right here since he uses them more often than Thor. Why? Well, I wish they gave him Stormbreaker in this cheap little set. The one from the Love and Thunder sets, not the one from 2018 because that one from 2018 is inaccurate. Well, they could use the new one from the Love and Thunder sets and add that to that cheap little set right here. And we did get the same version of the Jatari Soldier right there. The face and torso printing is 100% the same from last year from the three sets right here. And they gave him a purple shield piece right there as you can see, which is pretty decent in my opinion. And we do get Valkyrie and I'm very disappointed with this minifigure because that is the same version that we have from the last year's Sakari and Iron Man set from Marvel Studios What If. So we are not getting that white and blue suit for her because we wanted that version of her. But nope, as usual, Lego chosen the repeats again because it is so freaking annoying because that usually annoys the crap out of me. So the face and torso printing is the same. It's same thing with the sword hairpiece and the cape so nothing new still the same one from last year which is a total shame right there and the only build of this set we have a little gatling gun for the jatari right there like a little bazooka build right there that showed up in the movie so it is a little build right there and we have another new stud shooter piece right there at the middle section right there and it is pretty cool looking in my opinion so we do get three purple studs right there that you can't fire out right there if you lose one they only give you a few spares right there well they could just add more of it but it is what it is as usual for lego right there so that is it for the whole set right here so nothing much it is a cheap little minifigure accessory pack so it is going to come out on April 1st. This is a new Spring Marvel set right here. 
a cheaper one. So I will plan on getting this. Well, honestly, I'm getting this because of the new Korg minifigure and also me getting his battle armor. So yeah, that too. But anyways, for these three characters, I'm not interested at all, especially Crappy Thor, because that's the drunken alcoholic version that I still hate it so much if you guys may or may not notice already. But still, it is what it is in my opinion, but this is a already little set right here for the lineup. So nothing much to say, but that is all I've gotten so far for the lineup. So that is it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell, the same button, link in the description, and Hulk smash that comment section down below. And tell me in the comments what you guys think about this set for the lineup. I'll see you later, I'll let you.